Welcome to raigurkul.com. In this video, we'll discuss about how to create user story defects or any features in Rally, that is project management tool in bulk. Let's consider one scenario. If you are working as a product owner or scrum master, you don't want to create one by one issue types into Rally, then better to create everything into the excel and directly upload it that is called as bulk upload where this will give you flexibility to create and save lot of time while creating these artifacts so we'll show you here from scratch how you can achieve it here if you can see we have lot of issues are created a lot of user stories are created but at any point of time you wanted to create any user story features and defect in bulk make sure to use this method so don't skip a single part of the video because you might miss the important aspects and if you wanted to learn more about rally feel free to watch my complete rally playlist where I created more than 45 videos from start to end, which will guide you to each and every aspect of Rally or CA Agile Center. Earlier, the name was CA Agile Center, but after the adoptions of Broadcom, this product's renamed as Rally. Coming back to our topic here, how to achieve creating issues or user story or defect in bulk for this you need to have the superior permissions if you have the superior permissions then only you will be able to achieve it from the plan sections go to the user story and here you will see all the user stories are listed as a part of products or bulk create you need to click on this and click on import user story definitely it will not work with any formats these type of project management application is having their own set of templates download these templates once you'll click on this it will download template for you let me explain you each and every aspects and then we'll create it in front of you so this is the parent id which we have to add if you don't have any parent id keep it blank ready is always true if you wanted to mark as ready or you can as you can add false owner is exactly the email id of your account in my case i will add owner name as my complete email id here you can see this is showing just info but we have to add the complete email id then uh, we have to add descriptions Whatever descriptions you will add, theme descriptions will be reflected into your projects. Expedite, if you wanted to mark as true, can mark as true, else keep it as false. Plan estimates, whatever estimates you have, you can add it here. Is it blocked? If yes, then mark as true or if no, then false. Blocked regions, if you have any specific regions, you can specify it notes if you wanted to add any notes otherwise keep it blank display color you can add it as for your project category color if you are using or following the color code of specific based on your organization structures you can add the color code name you can define the complete name of your user story this is a required field wherever it's required it will mark as those fields and define as schedule state mark as yes and these informations you have to add one by one all those informations you have to add it and then you can simply upload it i will go to my file and add all those things let's consider i wanted to add this information i will add one item and post that with drag and drop or copy same thing in multiple line so that i will show you how we can upload it and how this will generate let's consider we have added this user story 4 
this will mark as true here you can see i added the owner name who has created descriptions i am just giving single statement but make sure to add as much descriptive you can otherwise this will be not clear for the developer what they can do it this is a flipkart issues where card is not working okay now expected is true plan estimates i'm just keeping one block as true simple block reason just i will keep it here now flipkart maybe i will add flipkart our project name if you have any specific label you wanted to tag that also you can specify it here color codes i'm just keeping it same but totally up to your project cycle product approach you can keep it according to your requirement this time i will change this cart is not working maybe i will just add cart payment option is not visible that's it and then the schedule i don't want to create more thing so for sake of saving time i will copy the same thing into multiple line and modify few of the details now let's keep it eight items seven and this is the header so that's it now let's consider i wanted to add three as a parent five three four and then five let's keep it as it is for the differentiation point of view i will just add here two so that we can see all the items maybe we can keep description same in name i will add this numbers so that at least we should have some differentiations but normally when we are working to the project this should be a accurate name you can check it now this is seventh that's it i will save it and we are ready to push or upload this file to upload this file we have to just click on this import user story select the file and here this was my file maybe i will cross verify it yes this is my file click on open here you will get two options utf8 and iso latin so if you have downloaded this template so you are not making any changes select utf8 click on import this will take some times based on your file size or file contained after that once you'll refresh the page you will have all those issues are listed all those artifacts are listed here now i will just refresh and you can see all my user story has been logged successfully when you'll go to the first item i wanted to check the color code you can see we have defined this color code that's the reason it's showing red but if you want to mark as blue you can just change it and this color codes will be highlighted so this is how you can see as of now we have marked as block but if you want you can change this block to false again in terms of ready if you have keep this status as false then it will not sample blocked reason uh, when you will mark this as false you don't have to specify sample blocked reason and under the node sections whatever items you will add whatever text you will add those texts will be available in parent sections you want you can add or see the parents detail so that's how you can create any number of user story through bulk options it's very quick but make sure you need to have the proper permissions in place if you don't have the proper permissions you won't be able to achieve it this is a very quick and easiest way where you can achieve for logging all the user story even ten thousand hundreds of user story in bulk that's all for today's video hope you enjoyed the content if you wanted to learn more about rally or any project management tool feel free to reach out to us thank you for watching see you in for the part of the video